summarize the last six months? Well, you know, it's been uh, there's a lot of emotions. Been a lot of emotions. Um, just saw Coach Beamer outside, matter of fact, which is great. Um, so it's been exciting. Um, I would, I would, I would say, you know, challenged, uh, rejuvenated to a certain degree. Um, I really like having a new job with not having to leave. Hi. You know, Coach Foster and I go way back. Uh, we've got a relationship. We've got a long history together. Uh, but once I, you know, once that I talked with Coach Fuente, I knew at that point, you know, I was ready to roll and and was, you know, let's full full steam ahead. All that in, still same drill. Any drop, 100 yards up now. We got 100 right now. Every takeaway we get, we can take away from it. You understand that? So if we get five drops right here, it's 500 yards. Every takeaway, we'll take away from it. I ended up going up to Illinois State. And I really enjoyed it up there when I went on my visit and stuff like that. And coach uh, Barry was the head coach there. He recruited me out of there. Coach David Blackwell was my position coach. So and that's how I got up there, up, up there in Chicago in the cold a little bit. <laughs> All I had was a starter jacket. You know, I had one of them Orlando Magic Shaquille O'Neal starter jackets. And then he leaves, goes to L.A., and I'm going to Illinois State. I'm like, what's really going on? I need more than a starter jacket. It's cold. Let's go. Get it going where you're going. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. My dad played at Oklahoma State, and you know, obviously during recruiting, I looked at other places, but I think deep down I knew where I was going. Yeah, Thurman Thomas was a year older than me, and Barry was a year younger than me. And, you know, they asked me if I played with those guys. I said, no, they played with me. You know. <laughs> Great back goes Fuente over the middle, wide open, caught by Little for a touchdown. Great grab by Little and an awfully nice pass by Justin Fuente. Justin was always prepared, and you hear it all the time, especially at that quarterback position, those guys that have it, he definitely had it. I mean, it, you'd find yourself sometimes on the sideline during games just watching, because he was running the show, he was calling the plays, and you knew he had a great feel for the team. He had a great feel for the direction of the team, the program even, and uh, it was definitely fun. Three wide receivers left. Fuente back to pass. He's rushed. He throws a pass in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Steven Alexander makes the catch. Our first job was really coaching. We're together at Illinois State. So we both GA together, and I think everybody knows we were roommates together and stuff like that for, what, four years or so. So, you know, you live with somebody for that long, and then you around somebody for that long. It kind of gets in your DNA a little bit. Y'all got the same kind of DNA. That's what I like to say. So got the same kind of mindset. So. You know, he's my coach, he's my boss, and all that type of stuff. I see him, you know, it's my kin, too. You know, he's my family, too. Hold up. I don't know if I call it surprise or they've sort of met expectations in some ways. Every one of them from top to the bottom work. They're not scared to work. You know, a lot of places I've been, you've had that guy where you had to push and push and push and push. There's not one of those guys. These guys are eager. I feel like they've bought in since day one. They're excited, but they understand it's not going to just happen. They have to go earn it. You know, win is a verb. Somebody has to actually go do it. And but they've they've approached that with that mentality every day. And you know, it's uh, definitely a more mature group than I've had in the past at other places. Maybe in some cases, and it, it's almost it's it's fun coaching grown-ups. It really is. Sometimes I may chicken army my way out, but you get down there. Obviously, that's when you go throw and roll. Get out there, get out there, good 72, good 72. You know, when we have those tough days, you know, I usually talk to them, whatever it needs, after practice. And then when I'm done, Augie usually talks to him. That's pretty cool. I just walk off. You know, I know, I know he's got the number one interest of the Virginia Tech Hokies in his heart. And, and I trust him with that right now. He's earned my trust. You know, he really has. Lots of areas.
areas where we have to grow. I mean, I'm not, you know, we're not nowhere near where we need to be, but I am enthusiastic about our, our, our steps that we've taken toward where we need to be. 15 practices, obviously, is not, you know, near enough, but uh, it's exciting, I think, about the talent level. Uh, I think the athleticism that we have in a, in a lot of young players. So it, it's, it's been encouraging. It's been, I'm, I'm very cautiously optimistic. Hold up.